like to introduce our Deputy President of the RCN, who has come down from London to join us on the demonstration today. Cecilia Amin. Hello. I am very pleased to see so many of you here. We have a common cause, and that cause is to serve the NHS, keep it national, and say no to postcode pay. austerity. We're not here to accept poverty. We're not here to accept the destruction of the fundamental basics of our society. The National Health Service, education and, and, and welfare benefits and pensions. I believe their aim is to make bankrupt the South West Health Services and make them ripe for private sector takeover. But while there's breath in my body, I'll fight to protect the NHS in the South West and across the UK. resistance, call one. If you are not in a union, join one. If you are a member and don't have a steward in your department, become one. We need to rebuild to defend our jobs, conditions and defend the National Health Service. We have collectively to say no to cuts in pay, no to regional pay, no to cuts in services and a huge yes to a National Health Service for all. that a physiotherapist in Bristol is worth less than one in Birmingham? Are we supposed to believe that the NHS can't afford to pay nurses and doctors? Solidarity greetings from PCS, the Civil Service Trade Union. Like you, we're in a battle over our terms and conditions. Like you, we found out through a leaked document, not through direct consultation, but through a leaked document. They didn't want us to know what was going on. They wanted to attack every personal term and condition of our members. We are not happy with that situation. We are balloting for strike action in the new year and we will take up that fight and pursue it to the bitter end. Join together, let's defeat what they're, what they're trying to impose on health workers in this country because today it will be the South West, but tomorrow it will be the entire country. Thank you very much. situation where the TUC has agreed to the idea of a general strike, to discuss that idea. We asked that a general strike in 1926. I believe that a general strike is possible. A general strike is absolutely required. I call on you to go back to campaign in your workplaces, communities and organisations to make uh, the living reality of a 24-hour general strike because that would bring the government to its knees and it would allow us to fight back and to push away these attacks and these cuts. 
Join us in Bristol and District Anti-Cuts Alliance. Join us with, in PCS in our fight. But our fight is your fight. We'll be with you to defend the NHS because it's ours and not theirs. Thank you very much. Have a good day and I really hope you see off this one.